In today's video, we're going to get to the facts of how you as a driver get to F1 or become a professional race driver. Ain't afraid to bear my soul, ain't afraid to walk on coals. I ain't gonna tell no lies, I ain't gonna apologize. Can't stop me now. Hello drivers, I'm in a, a quite direct mood today um, because I'm getting lots of questions. Enzo, this is so-and-so from India, from Ethiopia, from UK, from France, from Australia. doesn't really matter where you're from. Um, all I care about and all I want to do is race F1. I know I'm, I can do it. It's a passion of mine. I've cared about it since I was in the womb. Help me. What can I do? Do you know what? As a coach... I train drivers to get ready for F1 and IndyCar, whatever. But there's something you really, most people are overlooking. You're just wishing and expecting that you're going to be fast enough. If you want to get to Formula One, if you want to be paid millions of dollars, if you want somebody to use their 500, 800, 1,000 strong staff, you know, all these people that work in an F1 team, to work around your car, to pay you millions, to make sure that you're one of the two people that they've chosen out of the entire whole world to drive that race car. There's only 20 F1 cars at this point, drivers. 20 people out of the whole entire world. Tens of thousands that are trying to get there. If you want to be one of them 20, you've got to be outstanding. Okay, there's certain drivers there that you think, Right, they're not great, but they've got the cash. That's fine. You better be outstanding in the bank balance then. But still, you cannot get around the fact that no matter how much money people have got, because everyone's throwing stones at people who've got money, it's okay for you. It doesn't ever overcome that you need speed. If you're not fast enough, if you haven't got the skills, the talent to be a race driver, to be one of the best in the world, you are not going to survive. Yeah, you get your shot in F1, but if you're finishing three seconds off, I mean, wow, you're qualifying a second off your teammate, you're qualifying half a second off your teammate over the entire lap, big GP lap, you're going to get booted out. You're going to get basically thrown out by the industry and not taken seriously. It all plays out. You cannot hide the fact that you need the speed. So if you're a kid, you're at home, and you're dreaming of F1, and you feel like you deserve it because it's your dream. Because you're watching motivational videos about how you can get everything you want. You can, you've got to go overlook that and say, right, let's get to the facts here. I need to prove to the industry that I am faster than most of all the other drivers out there. And it's not until then do you have like a 3% chance of making it. Because not only do you need to be fast, but you need the back end. But if you are fast, that's your currency. As a driver, your main currency, the value you provide for the industry, is that you're quick. And when I get drivers saying, I want to be an F1 driver, I see it as being like a 100 meter sprinter. You just tell me or ask me or ask a coach, actually, that trains sprinters. You say, it's my dream to be the world record holder to be a gold medalist in the 100 meter sprinter, in, a, in the 100 meter event. What would they tell you? Computer's making a funny noise. They would say, train like hell, compete and prove that you're quick enough to qualify for the Olympics. It's no different with racing. You can't just dream and think it's going to happen and think this dream is going to come toward to, to you. Any, sing, any dream in this world, absolutely any dream, means you've got to put in five, ten years of graft before it gives you anything back. It's a dream. A dream is for people that have worked for it. A dream is something that's so far out there, it means you're going to have to hustle. You're going to have to live a different life to most of the people you know. You're going to have to sacrifice everything because it's a dream. Do you know how hard it is to get one of them things? These big goals that I talk about, 
It's not just wishing. It's not law of attraction. It's you putting in the graft. It's you working tire tirelessly, not going out with your mates, making sure that you can earn the cash to race. And then once you've got into that position, that's step one pretty much, that you've then got to get into a, into the car and win. And not only have you got to win, you've got to win continuously. Then you've got to make sure that you're talking to people, showing them that you are winning, have good sales skills, and then only then, hopefully, you'll get the back in. It's so hard to become a race driver, let alone a bloody F1 driver. Everyone's just saying, I just want to be an F1 driver, Enzo, can you help me? It's not that easy. You need to be quick. It's like me saying, right, I want to be an NBA player now. And the coaches at the NBA play, at the NBA teams will say, well, show us what you've got. Okay, I'll take a shot and I'll miss the hoop. They'd say, okay, do a dunk. I can't even reach the damn hoop. But I really want to be an NBA player. They'd be like, uh, mate, just you can sweep the floor. You can clean the shoes of the players. Same for you. It's not enough just to have a dream. It doesn't mean you earn or you deserve the right to have F1 if you just have this dream and really, really want it. I really, really wanted it. I put everything into this, into getting to the F1, to get into F1. Still didn't manage it because I was missing certain things. Speed, but just the, the chance of being test, going into the big championships and being able to prove myself because I wasn't quite good when I was in my teens of getting sponsorship. And then I found coaching, so it went on a different route. But still, it takes all that effort, and you still might not make it. You've got to be prepared to move to a different country, to hustle, to live in a basement while you're working four jobs just to pay for a club championship that no one sees, but you make sure you dominate it. Then in year two, because you've got so much so much uh, silverware you've won so much then you might attract the attention of a sponsor that can help you just step up a little bit this is going to take massive graft and i don't think most of you are prepared for it this is the truth of motorsport yes there's plenty of drivers that have gone from living in a caravan to being in f1 but guess what they had they had backing they had the speed they had the chance opportunity that somebody saw them, saw them win on a certain day and approach them. But in order to get to that position, they had to do a lot of hustling. They had to get into that championship, prove that they were good enough. You've got to prove if you're good enough. It's like any other sport. To be a fast driver is really difficult. If you look at any championship, and I mean a top one, you look at any top championship, there's probably only one or two drivers that deserve to get to F1 through their skill alone. It's hard to be outstanding. Top drivers don't come around that long, that often, should I say. Are you one of them? If you are, less dreaming. It's okay to visualize, live your dream every day, obviously, but less dreaming and thinking about it and more, how am I gonna get on the track and how am I gonna win and then shout about it as much as I can? You've got to win. Speed is your currency. Show us that. Show us how quick you are. Show us how you're beating everybody in your championship, no matter what level. And then you stand a chance of stepping up. Do it. Do the work. Show your speed. See you next time. Can't stop me.